Flash flooding has Nowata County ranchers heading for the hills. Spots along the Oklahoma-Kansas border have had more than four and a half inches of rain over the past 24 hours. Some rivers have risen up that way. News on 6 reporter Tony Russell has continuing coverage tonight on the flooding up that way. County commissioners say it takes about 12 hours from the heavy rains in Kansas to make their way down the Verdigris River here in Nowata County. Tonight, the river is expected to rise three feet above its flood stage. They're fine. They got everything they need right now. So. Fernan Ames isn't surprised by floodwaters surrounding his parents' home just east of Lenape. So you just knew that after all this rain, you had to come down here and check it out. Oh yeah, I come out and check on mom and dad every time the water comes up. The neighbors they come in from both directions and check with mom and dad, make sure that they have everything they need. Once they even took out a boat to check on them. When the Verdigris River gets up to flood stage, portions of Highway 10 here near Cedar Creek have to get shut down by ODOT. And for people who live on farmland nearby, they get stuck for days. A high reading from the Verdigris River gauge on the Highway 10 bridge has crews from the United States Geological Survey out at the site looking at the flood water. Survey crews made sure the gauge was reporting accurately, and they used this boat to measure the water flow. County commissioners say their concern tonight is to keep drivers away from flooded roads. Of course, we're always concerned when the water comes up this quick that someone may drive across a road or, or the highway that, that, that doesn't know the area and cause some problems and get themselves in a position that they don't want to be in where we've got to come out and rescue them. Commissioner Doug Sonnenberg says farmers were prepared when the heavy rain started falling. All of our farmers and ranchers along the river, they know that when the river starts coming up to get their cattle out of the way and get them in a different pasture. So, I mean, it's, it's a concern for them, and they know. But this happened so quick, uh, you know, just over overnight. The heavy rain caused two schools in Nowata County to close early. The soggy ground also shifted a water main, causing the pipe to burst. Emergency managers tell me the water should slowly be restored to some of those repaired pipes that were broken earlier today. Tony Russell, News on 6.